Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, the uh, the Norton live streams. Uh, apologies for the uh, for the late start this morning. We're a couple of minutes late. We had a few last minute technical issues. I think I well understand now why people don't like doing live TV. So here we are. So anyway, it doesn't matter because we're back on now. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to keep uh, keep streaming. There's going to be no issue. So uh, so please uh, please bear with us for for the next. Uh, the next half an hour. So that's how long uh, today's session is going to be. It's going to be approximately uh, 30 minutes. This is the third in a series of six live streams we're doing here at uh, here at Norton. So there's going to be one this morning. It's going to be about 30 minutes long, and another one this afternoon at uh, at uh, two o'clock UK time. So three o'clock. Uh, uh, CET. Uh, so please join us for that as well, if uh, if if you can. Uh, but yes, yeah, so so today we're going to have um, 30 minutes worth of uh, demonstrations on a couple of different products today. So a uh, bit of a mix of different product types we've got on today. And uh, and at the end of that 30 minutes, we're going to have a question and answer session. So whilst you're watching um, uh, the the live stream today, uh, please go onto the the questions section and uh, type in any questions you have uh, for us. And uh, at the end of the end of the session, we'll get to those, and we'll 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 have a chat about it, and answer anything you 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 uh, you need to know about. Okay, so uh, today's uh, agenda in front of you here today, uh, we've got a couple of different products. As I said, first of all, we're going to be looking at the new LCG or the Light Comfort Grinding Disc from Norton. So that'll be a really interesting one for for you guys. A different concept of uh, of product. Uh, so t uh, 10 to 15 minutes on that. After that, we'll be going on to our new Easy Trim Flat Disc, which are our trimmable. Uh, trimmable flat discs. So uh, first of all, I'll introduce you to the experts who are going to be on the uh, the live stream today. And then we'll have a look at uh, a, a PowerPoint, a, a short PowerPoint to give you some details about the LCG. Then after that, we'll move on to the, uh, the Easy Trim product. OK, so first of all, uh, let's uh, have a look at the experts we've got here today. Uh, first of all, uh, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Paul Gray. I'm the application engineer for MRO for, for the whole of Europe. Got a lot of experience in, uh, in, uh, in engineering and manufacturing over the time I've, uh, I've been at work and uh, quite a few years at Sangaban Abrasives, as you can see uh, on the chart there. Um, I'd also like to introduce uh, the product manager who's going to be talking over the product. This is one of his uh, products out of his huge portfolio of products, which is a, uh, my good friend Derek uh, Vrink. Hey Derek, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Ah, great, I can hear you, yeah. How are you doing, my friend, are you okay? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Okay, uh, so Derek lives in, uh, is in the Netherlands. He's the senior product manager for Thin Wheels for, for, for Europe. And again, a wealth of, uh, of, uh, of knowledge uh, in, a, in the abrasives uh, industry, in particular in the uh, cutting and grinding disc uh, area. Anything that goes on an angle grinder, he knows everything there is to know about these products. Okay, so, before we start the, the actual product demo with the, with the products itself, Derek's just going to introduce um, his uh, product LCG to you with a couple of PowerPoint slides, nothing too long, so don't get worried, uh, just to give a, a summary of what, uh, what the LCG is and where it's targeted and how it will benefit uh, you and your users. Over to you, Derek. Yeah, within a single band abrasives, you know, nobody likes grinding with a seven millimeter disc. It's um, it's not a very nice job to do. Let's make it as comfortable as we can for the operators that are uh, out there in the field. Um, second thing that we have um, also thought of, and uh, we're, we're uh, within Sango Banner Braces, we we try and we think together with our, with the operators, with the end users, as to where are these products to be used uh, to the maximum. What is the trend in the market? The trend in the market, for instance, is uh, battery machines. So uh, battery machines, ergonomics, um, uh, light and comfort are things that are um, in the minds of, um, of operators these days. So the third thing that we've um, that we've uh, that we've looked at is the usage of seven millimeter discs or six point four millimeter discs. You know, this comes in handy when you grind all day, right? How many people really do grind all day? In a lot of workshops, you will find that uh, operators will use a grinding disc only every now and then, right? So if you've weld, if you uh, if you weld something, 
you will grind it down, you will weld it again, you will grind it down again. But um, it's not something that a lot of people are doing um, constantly uh, full day on. In a shipyard, yes, in offshore, uh, offshore, um, offshore applications, you will definitely find people that will grind all day. But in a lot of workshops in general engineering, it's not something that is common to do um, uh, a, a lot of your time. So we've thought of it, you know, we need to make it light. We need to make it comfortable and we need to make sure that it's done with a great speed. And it should be fit for a battery machine, which is uh, currently um, uh, becoming more and more popular in the field. Yeah, I think I think that's one of the keys, isn't it, Derek? Because we, we're seeing uh, uh, battery or portable machines uh, uh, more and more in the market these days. That they're getting more popular due to the fact they're getting better. It's uh, as simple as that. You know, a couple of three years ago, the batteries would last uh, you know ten minutes, and the, the machine would switch off. But now uh, they're they're pretty comparable to. Uh, to uh, standard uh, mains powered uh, angle grinders. Yeah, exactly. This this disc being three millimeters thick instead of seven millimeters thick, it means that it that the machine needs to um, uh, or the battery will will have a lot less ampere uh, uptake in comparison to a three uh, to a seven millimeter disc. Right, three millimeters a lot lighter to use in a combination with ceramic grains that we've put in there. This is a full ceramic disc. Um, it is, you know, the grain does the work by itself. You don't need to push the machine. Well, this, this, is, the, this is what we're going to show you today, guys. So, uh, we, we're, I mean, the, the, the main sort of question everybody has when we introduce LCG is, you know, why? Why, why? why do we need this product? Why do we need a three millimeter grinding disc versus a seven millimeter grinding disc? And that's exactly what we're going to show you, uh, show you here today. So thank you for that, Derek. Uh, OK, so uh, let's have a quick look at the table where we've got all the, uh, all the tools we're going to use in this, uh, this, uh, this stream today. OK, so we've got our, our angle grinders again. We said uh, battery power machine, quite a nice machine here uh, 48 volts so that'll give us a, a good step and a, a powerful uh, standard uh, uh, mains powered angle grinder and these are the products we've got here today so we've got the LCG wheels uh, we've got here and then for the session later on we've got the uh, easy trim uh, easy trim flat discs and a couple of metal components we're going to be uh, we're going to be working on today okay so over to the product let's have a quick look at uh, at the LCG product so if you go to the zoom in camera there please Martin uh, Martin is the camera guy working on the on the live stream today. So here we have uh, our LCG. This is the quantum uh, version of the LCG, which is Derek referred to earlier. is the one with 100% uh, ceramic grain in here. So it really is a bit of a a bit of a beast. Uh, we also have a couple of other products in the LCG range, which is the and this literally is hot off the press, pardon my pun, Derek. It arrived to me uh, yesterday from our plant, so this is really, really new product. This is the LCG, but with the aluminium oxide grain rather than ceramic. So obviously a little bit more cost effective for people just using this on a bit of carbon steel rather than uh, harder materials. So ideal for, for that. And we also have, um, uh, you know, a multi-purpose product too. So this is a product we can use on any different materials, plastics, composites, you know, softer materials, uh, because it has a, uh, a silicon carbide grain in here rather than aluminium oxide. It can be used on even stone, etc. So uh, uh, this is uh, why we have a, a full range. So we have the Quantum 3 for really aggressive applications. We have the aluminium oxide for, you know, uh, carbon steels or, you know, to be a bit more cost effective and the multi-purpose for uh, lots of different other other materials you may yeah, you may want to grind. So quite a comprehensive range we've got uh, we've got there. Okay, so um, yeah, please feel free at any point, Derek, to interject with uh, a bit of your wisdom. But I think uh, right now we're going to get on and do some grinding and show you what the difference is between LCG and a conventional grinding disc such as this uh, aluminium oxide seven millimeter heavy product we've got here. All right, I'm going to get a component in the vise. Now, this is, if we just go quick zoom in on the, on the camera there again, please, Martin. This is a, a piece of uh, carbon steel with some uh, MIG welds that have been applied, some quite thick uh, MIG welds. And what I've done is I've drawn a, a line halfway down. And what I, I'm going to show you is I'm going to grind um, one weld off to this point here with our, our Vulcan uh, flat disc, which is a standard aluminium oxide, sorry, fire grinding disc. Uh, so I'm going to grind that weld away, and I'm going to time myself doing that. Uh, after I'm going to put on our fully ceramic uh, uh, Quantum 3 LCG and I'm going to grind this other weld again 
I'm going to time how long it takes to do and we'll see the difference what this uh, light comfort grinding wheel uh, uh, gives us. Right, so let's get the component in the vise. Just bear with me one second, I've got to make sure this is nice and secure. Okay, we are in. Okay, now I need to get on my, my safety gear, so really important I have my boots on, flame retardant overalls, uh, ear defenders, my heat proof gloves. Get these on. And then I'm going to put on my uh, my face shield as well, so I don't get any uh, any sparks of debris in my uh, in my head. Okay, so so first of all, we're going to use a conventional uh, wired machine, and we're going to use our Norton Vulcan aluminium oxide uh, uh, grinding disc to take off this weld up to the line. Let's get the disc mounted on the machine. Always remember to reverse your your flanges when you're mounting a grinding disc to make sure you've got it properly secure inside the machine. And always remember to switch the power off because I never forget that, do I, Derek? Never, not once. Every time. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to take off this weld here with the conventional uh, aluminium oxide. We're going to use the timer here to time me doing that and then do the same with the uh, uh, LCG. So let's start the timer. Off we go. Okay, so that was uh, not too bad, pretty quick, felt reasonably comfortable, a bit of vibration on there, but uh, 28 seconds uh, to do that weld, so make a, make a note of that, 28 seconds to grind off that weld. Okay, now we can mount our Quantum 3 LCG on our battery power machine, if I can not destroy everything while I'm doing that. Get that on. It's always tricky with a pair of gloves on to be mounting these products. Give me a second. Okay, so there we have it. So right, let's do the second weld. Let me reset my timer. So remember 28 seconds for the first weld. Okay, I'll stop that. So, uh, I, uh, I think it's, I don't even need to give you the time really. It's, uh, it's 18 seconds. So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a third less on the time to do. And to be honest, it feels easier to do as well. I'm not push, pushing as much. I'm not having to push as much. Uh, and the reason for that is quite simple, to be honest with you. It's because of the, the contact area you've got on, on the workpiece. With a thin disc like we have here, um, the disc quickly adapts and, and gets what we call a nice flat cutting edge uh, on the periphery of the disc. Uh, so you see, because it's three millimeters, it breaks down really quickly and it gives you a nice uh, flat cutting edge uh, on, on the product very, very quickly, which means it starts to work quickly. When you have a conventional uh, grinding product like this, the seven millimeter, it takes a long time to dress that edge up to get that, uh, get that uh, sort of cutting area. So it means you get a bigger footprint on the product uh, uh, more quickly. Okay, so that means you're gonna get the work done quickly. That's Go a down. good benefit of this uh, three millimeter disc. There's, there's a few others, you know, you don't scratch the material as much as you would with a seven millimeter disc, which is harder to steer across the, the material really. Uh, and three millimeters, as it is more comfortable, lighter to use with the ceramic grains. It is, you know, you, you feel more confident in touching the weld and not the, not the, the, the sides of, uh, of, the, of the workpiece. One more benefit that I would like to mention here is that it is, whilst it is three millimeters thick, the additional benefit is to, if you want to open welds in, uh, let's say, um, in, uh, in, in big pipes or in, in any material really, to open welds, <clears throat> three millimeters is the exact right thickness to open welds normally. So you can open a weld, weld it in again, 
grind it down with the three millimeter disc again, weld it again, where four millimeters is many times a little bit on a thick side for people. So that's a, that's a, that's a collateral uh, uh, benefit, I would say, of this product. Yeah, and without a doubt, as, as you can see from the, the image I just showed you while Derek was talking as well, it's a tidier job. Uh, again, you've got that, uh, that thinner disc, you're able to control it a lot better, so you're not wondering out the areas where you need to, to, to grind away. So it is a more controllable product. I also just want to show you another application that's quite handy for, for the LCG due again to its three millimeter thickness is to getting into hard to access um, areas such as this 90 degree uh, weld on this uh, uh, square box section steel. With a conventional grinding disc, uh, where did I put that? It's on the grinder here. Because of that thick uh, thickness of the product, when I try to get that in that, I'm actually going to damage this uh, piece of box section and this piece of box section. I'm going to be removing material where I don't really want to move material because I'm going to weaken the structure of that. All I want to do is just quickly buzz the slag off this weld. Uh, but by doing that with a thick disc, I'm going to damage uh, both of these pieces of, uh, of steel. But with the LCG, due to the three millimeters that we have, uh, we're able to get into that area without uh, causing the damage we were talking about. Okay, so I'll just show you quickly how we, uh, how we do that. Okay, if we just go to the zoom in camera again there, Martin, please. Okay, I think you can see we, uh, we've managed to take off that weld to a reasonable finish, to be honest with you. It's not uh, too scratched uh, at all, not too uh, rough looking, uh, and it's nice and smooth to, to the touch without damaging either this part of the calm steel or this part of the calm steel, again, due to the, uh, the nice uh, thin uh, nature of, uh, of the product. Okay, so, um, Thank you for that, Derek. Um, swiftly move, uh, uh, moving on, we need to get on because we've got a very uh, a short session uh, this morning where compared to our, our normal one hour long ones, We're trying to keep it as short and impactful as we possibly can, but I see the time's running away really quickly already. So conclusions about the AC LCG. For me, it's, it's, it's not a product that's gonna suit everybody. If you're in a foundry and you're grinding huge structures every day, all of the day with a, 1900 watt grinder or a, a pneumatic grinder which are hugely powerful it's not going to be the product that works for you but if you're the operator that is you know doing a little bit of buzzing away on on wells and you're switching over to a cutting disc then you're switching over to a flat disc surface conditioning disc so you're a multitasking operator it's, it's a perfect product it gets the job done really quickly uh, with minimal force, slow vibration and as comfortable as, uh, as you possibly can. So yeah, three millimeters is thin, but uh, trust me, uh, try one uh, as soon as you can. You'll, you'll fall in love with it straight away. All right. Okay. Anything to add there, Derek? Uh, no, you covered it all, uh, Paul. So that's uh, uh, really, really, um, it, we, we believe, as you say, this product has uh, benefits for, uh, for a lot of people uh, in workshops, in general engineering, where where you pick up an angle grinder with a grinding disc um, a few a few times uh, a day, right? Yeah. And you're not bothered with a seven mil heavy job, a lot of dust, a lot of noise. It is light, it's comfort, and it's grinding. So that's what we want. And it's perfectly suited to the future of grinding, to be honest with you, with these products. We will see them more and more and more there. Uh, outselling conventional uh, uh, mains power grinders uh, two to one at the moment. So uh, be aware it is going to change. So we'll, we'll see more products like the LCG uh, uh, coming through the market. Okay, uh, now, now time to next uh, for our next topic, which is our easy trim uh, flat disc, our new trimmable flat disc. Again, quick PowerPoint because we don't want to do that. We want more, more demos and PowerPoint. So back over to you, Derek, to introduce the, the Norton Easy Trim. Thank you. Right, so um, the e in the Easy Trim, we've uh, chosen to have a colored coated backing. So with um, every uh, grid size that you find in the um, in this product range, you will find a color is linked directly to a uh, to a grid size. Uh, we have a uh, red line added to the backing of uh, of the flap disc, which indicates uh, the um, the maximum uh, the maximum trim that you can. Uh, that you can uh, that you can apply. 
this is uh, typically made uh, to um, to work in angles, to work in corners, and uh, to have uh, some kind of a flexibility of the flaps whilst you have trimmed down the um, uh, the the backing. Right, this will give you the the, the opportunity of um, bending the flaps slightly into corners. This is uh, this is a good benefit. It's not really comparable comparable to what you've seen in the LCG. The LCG is of course uh, rigid. You stick it into corners and it grinds away there. But this forms after the uh, the material, so this is perfect for curves, perfect for for corners that you do want to uh, uh, slightly touch. Um, on the life, it's uh, it has a longer life, of course, and a, a regular grinding disc because you can trim down the backing. Once the flaps have uh, have uh, worn down, you can uh, you can make uh, new ones appear. So that is uh, something that is uh, that's that's very nice. Um, and you can turn the 125 into a 115 disc. So this is a, a product where that we, that you will see in the market. Uh, not super regularly, but it is definitely a product that has good benefits for um, uh, for people that are working in corners, working on sharp edges, and are willing to uh, get a little bit more out of a um, out of a flap disc than the, the regular products. So that's um, that's where we're taking the uh, the trimmable product. A very interesting concept. So, Paul, you take it away and just uh, uh, show what it. Thank can you, Derek. Do. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, thanks for introducing the uh, Easy Trim. So if you just go to the, uh, the zooming camera, please, Martin. As as Derek was explaining, we have uh, we have different uh, uh, four different grades here, and we we've, we've actually color coded them because a lot of the time in the market when we see flap discs, the labels actually fallen off the disc, and there's no way to recognise actually what the product is. So to keep that confusion from uh, from any operator, so he, he make sure he uses the correct uh, grain when he's grinding. We've color coded. So the yellow product here is uh, grit 40. Okay, the maroon product here is grit uh, 60. Okay, getting finer. Uh, the green product here is grit 80 and finally the blue product here is grit uh, 120. Okay, so even if this label is lost or damaged or got dirty so you can't see what that little sign uh, with the grit size there means, the operator will always know uh, which, uh, which grade he's, uh, he's going to be using, which is really, really handy to be honest with you. So why, why a trimmable flat disc? What's the reasons we, uh, we would like a trimmable flat disc and, and find it useful in the market? Well. From my experience from visiting uh, people who use a great quantity of flat discs, the first thing I do when I go into a count where they are using flat discs is take one, a used one from the floor uh, where they're normally discarded or somebody's bench. And I guarantee nine times out of 10, they are not used to 100% of their life. I would say probably they used 40% of their life because a lot of operators are, are using a flat disc at a too higher angle like this. They're grinding like they're grinding with a conventional grinding disc, like one of these. They're using it the same, in the same way, okay, because maybe they're used to that. Sometimes also it makes it makes the disc work more aggressively when you when you when you make the contact area smaller, which you do by steepening the, the angle grinder. If you're flat here, you have a big contact area, so it takes more power out of the machine and, and it doesn't get the job done as quick. But if you, you steepen the angle, it gets the job done much quicker, but it kills the flat disc. What it does is it takes all of the material away from the uh, if we can go to the zoom in camera there, please, Martin. It takes, um, it takes a lot of the uh, material away from, from the edge, as you can see on this disc that I've used, uh, I abused earlier, should I say. So again, the flaps are nearly dead on the edge here. If I start to use this disc anymore on this material, I'll start to hit the backing plate, okay? Which, which I don't want to do, especially if it's a fiberglass backing plate, I'll start to create uh, scratches. It'll start to burn, it'll start to smell, not very nice. Okay, so at that point, I will throw the disc away uh, and get a new one. Okay, so okay, it's good for the operator. He doesn't care generally what's going on. Just give me a new product, give me a new product. But uh, you end up spending more than you need to on, on a flat disc. Uh, the ideal angle for a flat disc is really uh, 15 degrees. But as we say, we, we don't, not everybody is, is following that. So with the trimmable one, what we can do is we can use it whatever angle we want. And once we burn off the, the flaps on the edge, we can retrim, refresh, and turn a 125 millimeter uh, flat disc into a 115 millimeter flat disc. So essentially, we have two, two discs in, in one. 
Okay, so a really interesting, uh, interesting product for us. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an example of how it works on this bit of uh, carbon steel here. And then what we'll do is we'll dress uh, the edge of the flat disc and we'll turn it into, uh, into a, new, uh, a new, we'll turn this 125 used disc into a 115 uh, millimeter disc. Okay, so quick grind on this steel, show you it's still working as it is, and then we'll dress it uh, and trim it down. You know, the product is still working, but I am feeling that the backing is starting to touch uh, the surface of the metal. It's also starting to melt on the surface of the metal a little bit, so not ideal. So it's time for us to, to address. Now, what we could do, uh, you think they made it a special tool to do that? Not true. All we need to do is use a sharp edge and offer the backing up to that sharp edge to dress our our new, uh, our new uh, 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 edge on the flat disc. So offer it up there, nice and gently. Just trim it up, up to the red line if you want to, or maybe a little bit shorter than that to give you even more life. Uh, and then you'll get a new, uh, a new disc appearing. Right, let's show you how we do that. Okay, so as you can see, we've now got a new edge on the flat disc and we can start to, uh, to grind again without any issues. So let's go again. So what I'm going to do quickly now is I'm going to show you uh, what the disc uh, looks like when it's, uh, when it's trimmed. So we'll take that off here and we'll show you the, uh, the trim version versus the, uh, the original version in a 125mm. So if we just go close up a little bit there, Martin. Okay, so that's the 125mm and that's the trimmed version at, uh, at our 115mm reconsider. So you can see we started off with this disc. You can see it's much bigger on the camera there. Did a lot of work with that, maybe, uh, uh, I think we grind about 20 minutes, take off about 800 grams with this disc uh, in the first instance. We can then retrim, as I've shown you here. That'll work for approximately another 15 minutes and take off uh, about 450 grams. That's what we're proving in, in internal testing. So you can see the difference there. We've basically got a 125, we've turned into a, a 115 uh, disc. So really nice product. And uh, certainly I've been to some accounts where the, the factory manager is uh, locking the flat discs in the cupboard. And when the guys want a new one, uh, they have to come to him, show them the worn disc, and he gives them a new disc uh, to make sure that the people are using these, uh, us using these uh, trimmable flat discs uh, properly. So, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a different concept, and I think it's a really nice, uh, nice one that we have in the, in the range. One important thing about these discs when we trim, uh, we have other, other competitors that uh, have this uh, kind of trimmable flat discs in the market, but when, when we actually trim the backing, it smells really bad. It smells of burning plastic or sometimes of burning wood. It's really not, uh, not pleasant at all. When you do trim ours, uh, it doesn't smell at all. So there's no acrid plastic burning smell. We don't get any effects from that in there. It just trims uh, very nicely into small little yellow particles that you can see on the, on the desk here that are not hot. They won't burn and they don't smell. So that's quite an important uh, 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 benefit for the Norton Easy Trim, especially formulated for, for that. Yes, Derek. No, no, no. I was going to say that's a, that's a, that's a big benefit. Smell and uh, feel and vibration and everything that comes along with the cutting and grinding is for the operators. As we, as I said before, we try to think with operators and make life 
more comfortable for them in in doing their daily job, right? So uh, if if, right. You, if you stand around a smelly area all day, nobody really likes it. And um, you know, we want to um, provide products that uh, that are workable for for your, for the operator. So that's yeah, part of it. These are these are our customers. You know, these are the people that are using the products, and also uh, myself and Derek get heavily involved in these and. and uh, uh, it, you know, we, we want it to be good for us too, so we ensure uh, we think about our end user at every step of the development process. Okay, so quick summary about LC, uh, LCG, I'm still on about that, Derek, I love it so much. Uh, easy trim, all right, it's a very versatile flat, uh, flat disc, uh, zirconia grain, plastic backing pad, 15 degree angle on, on, the, on, on the disc here for, for ease of grinding. Uh, two discs in one. When you've used it for 20 minutes and it's worn the edge down, you can retrim it and use it for another 15 minutes. So really long life uh, product here. You really do get your your value for money, and it still gives you the performance you uh, you need. Okay, so uh, uh, this session is actually being recorded, by the way. So uh, for those of you who are watching this on uh, on. Uh, on the recorded session, thank you for uh, for your time. Uh, thanks for spending uh, half an hour, just over half an hour, with us, and we'll hopefully see you on the on the next sessions. And you can also see the previously recorded sessions on uh, on our YouTube channel at uh, NortonAbrasives.com.